Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. And so right now my Franken board is drying. It's still the 28th of February. So I'm doing two videos this morning. Now for this video, you're going to need the book or books that you're going to make into journals. Uh, you may want to make one for yourself. You may want to make one for your mom. So, you know, how many ever you want to make. Um, I'm making 22 of these. So the first thing is, is take the covers off and I think this morning I got inspired while I was semi sleeping that eventually I'm going to use these original dust jackets to make soft covered journals and I'm going to let some of the dust jacket you know be seen maybe I don't know but it make a good base for a soft covered book that's for sure so I've got three books um, I'm going to take the jackets off of all of them. Now, how I, how, how I choose my books is that they all have to be similar in height, not similar in width, but height. Cause I don't want to be cutting five different sizes of papers at the end. So you can see they're all the same height. Now, even their, the spines are in similar you know, is similar to. Okay, so you'll need your handy dandy book thing. And then what you want to do is bring back your jacket like so. Now, some people would be afraid to stick their hand in where the knife is going to be. Um, I've been doing this for a year now, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, the idea is not to cause an issue with, you don't want to cut up your jacket. That looks like I've already gone and done that. Yeah, I have. Now the problem with this one is that it is actually glued into the, the contents of the book are not sewn in, but they are glued in and these make terrible ways of getting your book out off so other other ways I sometimes do it is especially on the gluey ones is I try to get off as much as the back as possible and this is why I do hidden spines is because of this reason but no worries I'll, I'll show you how to fix that Sometimes the glue, it get, really gets on the spine, uh, um, depending on how young the books are. These are super young books. The older books, they're all sewn in like we sew them in, but they're all hidden signatures. All right, let's see how badly I nicked the bottom portion of this book. If you can't do this to a book, look away, look away. You may need to do soft covers. All right. And yes, I do save the book block. <laughs> I have a, a mission that to how to use those, and I'll show you eventually. Okay, so we got one book cover. We do have a portion of it cut. That's all right, too. All right. And we're going to have that problem on all these because these books look old because, you know, they've been in New Mexico. And New Mexico tends to bleach everything out and makes a young book look old when it's, you know, fairly new. Um, and what I mean by old and new books is how close to the publication date is this book? Is it? five years? Is it 10 years? Is it 20 years? Is it 50 years? Blah, blah, blah. Because the further away from the publication date, the easier it is to cut these out. See? This one, they didn't glue the back to, or this stayed with the 
glue. So, you know, sometimes you can get super lucky with that. Now, <clears throat> so I don't accidentally cut the cover. I keep it away from this. And if you have to cut it a few times, that's all right too. All right, there we go. Now that was easy compared to the first one and the spine is not cut. And in fact, that's the best cutting I've done in a book ever. <laughs> so yes, you will become better at it. And I look at it this way. These books were set to be destroyed or they were read and then thrown out. And the, the owner didn't want them anymore. So I'm giving them a second life, second chance at life. Yes, yes, that's how I look at it. Yes, I have a whole bio, a pile of, you know, it's this to me is what I've always wanted to do to a TV. I've always wanted to take a hammer to a TV and see what the inside of the TV looks like. <laughs> I haven't done it, but on my bucket list. Now, don't take a hammer to your TV just because I said that. Please, please don't do that. But, you know, I always wonder how things are put together. I've never, you know, been one to take a lot of things apart. Because I tried it when I was little. I completely destroyed one of my cassette recorders taking it apart. And I couldn't put it back together. So my mom had to help me. She figured it out. But, yeah. And she says, don't you ever do that again. So I never took anything apart after that to figure out how it was used or how it was put together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, ah, we got another one that's not gluey. Yay. So we'll just split it down here. Okay, so there you have it. And I'll be doing that for 22 more books. Um, let me show you real quick how to fix the one that broke. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, that one. Um, this will not be seen, so you can do this, no problem. I usually keep stuff in my centers of my tape and it sort of keeps things from falling off my desk. So bear with me while I transfer this to the other one. Okay, so you take your masking tape. Um, now, if you have washi tape that's so ugly you can't stand it, you can use washi here, but you have to actually glue it. Um, this is fa fairly sticky, so I'm not worried about it not sticking. Now, you want to sort of put it down so that groove right here is visible. You, you want to encourage the groove to remain. All right, now, the reason why I... I stop pulling on this was because this little piece here decided it didn't want to come out and play anymore so with older pieces of masking tape which this roll is fairly old um i got it from a friend of mine and i don't know how long she had it and i've had it for two or three years myself so i'm not surprised that this is giving me hard time. Okay, let's see if we can get these two going together. Ah, there we go. Ugh. All right, I think that should do.
And by the time we get done reinforcing this and whatnot, we'll be okay. Now, I need huh, my scissors out in the kitchen. Well, since my scissors are out in the kitchen, I'm just going to roll these back like this and make sure that that groove is... Still there. All right. So that's how you fix it. Some you can use duct tape and see right here. Yeah, that's where it is. So you want one more piece right across there. All right. All right. Wow, that's super sticky. The back of this tape got stickiness off of the other piece of tape because it did not want to come up. All right, there you go. All right, there you go. Now you can get your bone folder out. You can really go in and, all right, see, I have a one down here too. So you want a piece of duct tape down there as well. Or masking tape, not duct tape. Masking tape. Now, uh, if you have book binding tape, use it. <laughs> uh, but this is the alternative for people who don't have it. I don't have book binding tape. I just not never saw the point in spending the money on it. When I can use duct tape or masking tape. That works just as well. All right, now what we're gonna need to do for all these books is to um, take the spines, because they have the names of the books on them, um, and paint them. Because we don't want the name of the author and the name of the book to come through on our journals. So that will be the next step for these. But until then, I am going to definitely um, pull apart more books. And that's how you repair some boo-boos that you make on your books. And like I said, I keep the dust jackets because I think I will definitely be making a bunch of book journals. I think that would be fun, making book journals <laughs> book, yeah, and make them soft. So anyway, that'll be a, another video for a different time. I'm crunched on time right now due to the fact I'm trying to get my Etsy store launched by uh, mid-April. And here we are, the first of the first of the of March. Okay, so there you have it. That's what I'm going to be doing, um, pulling these apart and um, taping up the spines if I cut them. And remember, I don't know where my little pieces of paper are, but anyway, if you'd be so kind to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it'll help the algorithm um, push out my um, video to more people and help grow my channel. I certainly would appreciate it. And uh, if, you've, if you're new here, welcome to the home of theme journals. Um, and you have a lovely day, and I'll be back in the next video. Bye.